اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وہو الذی انشاء لکم السمع والابصار والافعدہ And it is He, that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who has created for you the hearing and the sight and bestowed upon you the faculty of inferring and reasoning. Qalilam ma tashkurun. But there is very little thanks that you give to Him. Wa huwa allazi zaraakum fil ard wa ilahe tosharun. And it is He who has scattered you in this world and He will gather you again who can scatter can gather also and it is he who gives life and then causes death and to him belongs this system of alternation of night and day so don't you understand بل قالوا مثل ما قال الاولون نے they are also saying the same which the ancients used to say what was that قالوا ايذا متنا وكنا ترابا وعظاما when we are dead and we become bones and dust اينا لما بعثون are we going to be resurrected created again لَقَدْ وَعِدْنَا نَحْنُ وَعَبَاؤُنَا هَذَا مِنْ قَبْلُ These promises were given to us also and to our forefathers also. إِنْ هَذَا إِلَّا أَسَاتِرُ الْأَوَّلِينَ But this is nothing but the stories and fables of the ancients. قُلْ لِمَنِ الْأَرْضِ Now these few ayat which are now coming, they tell us what was the belief of the Mushrikeen of Arab. They believe that the creator is Allah, none else. But Allah has subordinate gods with him, that's all, who will intercede on our behalf on the day of judgment. They are intercessors for us. Ask them, O Muhammad To whom belongs this earth and whatever is in it? In kuntum ta'alamun. If you know, give the answer. Sayaquluna lillah. They will say they belong to Allah. Qula fala tazakkaroon. Then say to them, then why don't you get admonished? Qul mar rabbu samawat isabi wa rabbu l'arshi l'azim. Ask them, who is the Lord of the seven heavens or the Lord of the Of the mighty throne, سيقولون لله. Again, they will say, Allah. ولا فلا تتقون. Then tell them, don't you fear him. ول من بيده ملكوت كل شيء. Ask them, in whose hands is the sovereignty of everything? وهو يجير. And he can give protection. ولا يجارو عليه. And nobody can give protection against him. In kuntum ta'alamun. Give the reply if you know. Sayaquluna lillah. Again they will say. This is for Allah. Wal fanna tusharun. Say to them then. Where from are you being bewitched? Bal atainahum bilhaq. Wa innahum lakazibun. The truth is that we have brought to them the truth. But they are liars. Mattakhadullahu bin walad. Allah did not take to himself any son or any daughter. And there is no God with him. Then all the gods will have taken away their creations. And some of them might have come up, stand up in revolt against the others. سبحان اللہ عما يسکون اللہ is glorified from all those things which they are describing عالم الغیب والشہادہ he knows what is in the unseen and what is present before the eyes فتعالی عما يشرکون he is exalted very high 
ابو آل دوز تھنگس ہوم دے ایسوسیٹ ود ہم اور رب اما تری انی ما یو ادور او محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سے ٹو یور لارڈ او مائی لارڈ اف یو شو می وٹ یو آر پرومزنگ ٹو دیم دے چیسٹائزمنٹ دے عذاب اف اٹ کمز ان مائی لائف ٹائم اف بفور مائی اون آئز دس چیسٹائزمنٹ کمز رب فلاح تجلی فی القومی ظالمین سو مائی لارڈ پلیز ڈونٹ انکلوڈ می ود دیز ایول ڈوئرس دے آر مائی کتھ اینڈ کن اوکے آئی ایم آلسو اے کرشی بٹ آئی ڈونٹ ایسوسیٹ ود یو اینی ون وینا الا ان نوری کما نائد ہوں نہ قادر ہوں اینڈ او محمد وی آر ویری پاور فل وی آر ایبل ٹو شو یو واٹ وی آر پرومزنگ دیم ادفا بلتی احسن اسیہ ریپل ایول ان دی بیسٹ وے نہ نو عالم و بیماری سکون وی ویری ویل نو نو واٹ دے آر ڈسکرائبنگ اباؤٹ اس وقور رب آؤز و بکا من حمزات شیاطین اینڈ سیو My Lord, I seek your refuge, refuge from the evil instigations of the Satans. And I seek your refuge that they should come to me. Until that, when death comes to some of them, He will say, Oh my Lord, just return me. Send me back. Lali amal salihan fi ma taraktu. Maybe that I can do charity. I can give away everything which I had left behind in charity. I will give everything. Tarakt. Kalla. No. Innaha kalimatun huwa qailuha. It's just a word that is coming out of his mouth. He doesn't mean it. If he's returned, he will do the same. which he had been doing before his death. وَمِن وَرَائِهِمْ بَرْزَخُنْ إِلَىٰ يَوْمِ يُبْعَسُونَ And then in front of them will be an intermediary world till the day when they will be resurrected. This is called بَرْزَخْ بَرْزَخْ is something in between the two. فَإِذَا نُفِقَ فِي السُورِ So when the trumpet will be blown فَلَا أَنْسَابَ بَيْنَهُمْ No ties of kinship will be of any avail on that day. وَلَا يَتَسَعَلُونَ And nobody will ask anybody else how you are. فَمَنْ سَقُلَتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فَأُولَائِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ So only those whose scales of good deeds will be heavy. So they will be the prosperous ones, the successful ones. وَمَنْ خَفَّتْ مَوَازِينُهُ And those whose scales of good deeds will be light. فَأُولَائِكَ الَّذِينَ خَسِرُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ فِي جَهَنَّمَ خَالِدُونَ So they are those who have done loss to themselves and they will then abide in the hell. تَلْفَعُوا وُجُوهَهُمُ النَّارِ The fire of hell will scorch their faces. وَهُمْ فِيهَا كَالِحُونَ And they will be disfigured, you know. Their faces will be disfigured. Alam takun ayati tutla alaykum. Allah will ask, were not my revelations narrated to you, recited to you? Fakuntum biha tu kazibud. But you kept on denying them, refusing to accept them. Kalu rabbana galabat alayna shikwatuna. Fakunna qawman dhalleen. They will say, O our Lord. Our wretchedness overcame us. And we admit that we were the evil doers. Rabbana akhrijna minha. O our Lord, take us out from this at least once. Fa'in udna fa'inna zalimun. And if we revert to the same attitude, then we shall be surely evil doers. Ta'alaq sa'u fiha wa la tukallimun. Allah will say, stay you into this hell. with ignominity and don't address me don't talk to me innahu kana fariqum min ibadi there was 
اے گروپ آف مائی بانڈز مین یا قولون ہو یوز ٹو سے ربنا آمنا او اور لارڈ یہ کم ٹو بلیو فخ فر لنا سو فر گیو اس ورحم نا اینڈ ہیو مرسی آن اس وانت خیر الرحمین اینڈ یو آر دی موسٹ مرسی فل دین آل دی مرسی فلس فتح خست ہوں سخریہ بٹ یو ٹک دیم ٹو ریڈیکیول یو ماک ڈاؤن دیم حتیٰ انساؤ کم ذکری ٹل دیٹ دے جسٹ میک یو میڈ یو فار گیٹ مائی ریمبرنس یو آر بزی ان ماکنگ آن دیم ناٹ لسننگ ٹو واٹ ریمبرنس واس کمنگ ٹو یو وکن کن تم منہم تب ہٹون یو ور لافنگ ایٹ دیم انی جزا تہم الوم اب ماس صبر ہو دس ڈے آئی ہیو ریوارڈیڈ دیم فار دی پرسویئرنس دیٹ دے شوڈ ان ہوم ہوم الفائز اون ایٹ دے آر دی دوز ہو آر سکسیزفل کال کم لبس تو فلر دے اندر سنین ان دی اینڈ اللہ ول آسک دی کوشچن واٹس یور اوپینین ہاؤ مینی ایئرس ڈڈ یو اسٹے ان دی لینڈ ان دی ارتھ ان دی ورلڈ کالو لبس نا یوم نا باغ یوم They will say, it seems to us that we stayed there for one day or a part of a day. First, Anil Adin. So we don't know it. You ask those who keep the account. Kala illa bistu illa khalila. Allah will say, yes, you didn't stay there, but a very little while. Maybe it was hundred years, but it's nothing. My one day is equal to your thousand years. So it's again a part of a day. So it was correct. You stayed a very little while. Inla bistum illa kalila. Lau anna kum kuntum talaboon. Would that you had known it earlier. That this world is passing. It's transitory. It's a temporary abode. We have not to live it for, here forever. Afahasir tum anna ma khalakna kum abasan. Did you think that we had created you in vain, without any purpose? And that you will not be made to return to us? So exalted is Allah, the true king of the universe. Now what is the reason here, the, the argument? Can there be any ruler or king who does not punish those who revolt against him and does not reward those who are faithful, obedient. No, there must be reward for the faithful, obedient and punishment for those arrogant people who stand up and revolt against him. So Allah is the true ruler of this whole universe. How could it be that he would not recall you and then reward, good, give good rewards to the people who believed in him, who worked for them, for him and for his deen and punish those who were against his deen. فَتَعَالَ اللَّهُ الْمَلِكُ الْحَقِّ So exalted is Allah, the true king. لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا هُ There's no God except him. رَبُّ الْعَرْشِ الْكَرِيمُ He is the Lord of the noble throne. وَمَنْ يَدْعُ مَعَ اللَّهِ إِلَهًا آخَرُ And whosoever will call and pray with Allah, another God, La Burhan Allahu Bihi, for whom He has no argument. For in the Mahi Sabahu in the Rabbi, surely the reckoning is with the Lord. In the Hula Yuflehul Kafirun. But rest assured, such disbelievers will not be successful. Wa Qur Rabbi Auz. وَقُلْ رَبِّ اغْفِرْ وَرْحَمْ وَانْتَ خَيْرُ الرَّاحِمِينَ In the end, say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and through Muhammad this address is for the every ummati, every believer in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, say, my Lord, forgive and have mercy. And definitely you are the best of the merciful. Now, as I said, we are coming to the to a very important Madani Surah, and that is Surah Al-Nur. Just recall, now we are having in the Mus'haf a Madani Surah after 14 Makki Surahs. 
یونس ہود یوسف علیہ السلام الرعد ابراہیم الحجر النحل بنی اسرائیل القحف مریم توحا این امبیا اینڈ دین لاسٹلی الحج اینڈ المومنون وی ہیو جسٹ فنش المومنون ناؤ دس از دی سورا کمپرائز از نائن سیکشنس اینڈ اٹ ہیز آئی تھنک نیئرلی اباؤٹ سیونٹی اور سکسٹی تھری پر ہیوس آیات بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سورت انزل نہ و فرض نہ This is a very strange beginning of a surah. Mostly we have been seeing either huruf muqattaat, alif laam meem, alif laam ra, alif laam meem saad, alif laam meem ra, and so on and so forth. Or mention of the glory for Allah, or His praise, or some introduction of Quran, some praise of Quran. Only a few had started, absolutely without any preface, we find سورت النساء اور سورت المائدہ ڈائریکٹ ایڈریس یا ایو الناس یا ایو الزین آمن بٹ ہیئر اٹس ویری پیکولیئر پرٹیکولرلی دی سورا بینگ مینشنڈ اینڈ یوجلائزڈ سورت ان اینڈ دس کامن ناؤن ان ربی کمز فار سم تھنگ وچ از ویری بگ ویری ہائی اتنکیر لے تخفیم دس کال اٹ دس از دی رول ان دی نحف گرامر آف عربک سورت اٹس اے ویری گرینڈ سورا انزل نہ وچ وی ہیو سینڈ ڈاؤن و فرم نہ اینڈ وی ہیو انجوائنڈ اپون یو پرسکرائب اپون یو یو ہیو ٹو ابائڈ بائی اٹ آیات فرم انزل نہ فیحا آیات بینات لال لکم تو بٹ کرون اینڈ وی ہیو سینڈ ڈاؤن ان اٹ ویری کلیئر سائنس اینڈ ریولیشن سو دیٹ یو گیٹ دی ایڈمانیشن Number one, straight off, Azani at Wazani, the adulteress and the adulterer. Fajledu kulla wahidi minhuma miyat ajalda. Flog each one of them a hundred stripes. Wala taakuzkum biha rafatun fi din Allah. And let not tenderness for them seize you regarding the law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the had of Allah. This has been prescribed by Allah. You have to execute. You have to flog them. Hundred stripes. Maybe you are feeling sympathetic towards them. But it should not come in the way. These commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have to be executed. In kuntum tuminuna billahi wal yawmil akhir. If you really believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the last day. Wal yashat azabahuma. And their chastisement should be witnessed by a group of the believers. They should see, see it with their eyes. When they are being flogged, there should be people to watch and see. So that there is terror. It becomes a deterrent for other people that this is the punishment. If I do the same, it will come to me also. And this is the philosophy of the severe punishments that are prescribed in Islam. A deterrence. And we have examples even today. Wherever these punishments are enforced, crime just evaporates. Formerly there was an example of Saudi Arabia, but now things are different there because there are a lot of immigrants over there. People having coming from the, all the hooks and corners of, of the world. But recently, now we find the same thing in Afghanistan. Even Dr. Javed Iqbal, a somewhat secular type of, you know, scholar. But when he visited Afghanistan and we came back, he addressed a meeting in Jamia Haqqaniya, Akura Khatak, and he said, what I have seen in Afghanistan, if this can happen, in a few more Muslim countries, then the whole world will accept Islam. There's peace, tranquility, no fear of theft, nothing of this sort. All peace. And that will be because, you know, the punishments are very severe. If you kill somebody, you will be killed. 
and you will be killed in the same way in which you have killed. If you are stabbed, well, they are of that person whom you have killed has the right to stab you, just as you stabbed the person whom you killed. Azani layan ke hoila zaniyatan of mushrikatan. The adulterer should not marry except an adulteress or someone from among the mushrikeen, some woman from the associators. Was zaniyatul ayan ke hoha illa zani na mushrikin. And the adulteress, she should not be married except by some adulterer or some mushrik male. And this has been prohibited for the believers. But please note, this is a divine providence, not a law. If some woman commits adultery, and if she was unmarried, she has had the hundred stripes, then she makes toba. You can marry her. There's no bar. It's not law. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, he decides in his own providence that, you know, as we say, birds of the same feather flock together. So, zaniya and zanis, they will flock together. It's, it is the natural phenomenon. They have an inclination towards each other. And, you know, the people who are chaste themselves, they wouldn't like. So, this is a general phenomenon, not a law of the Sharia. As for those who accused just women and then they can't bring forth four witnesses. If you blame that she has or he has committed adultery, but he cannot produce four witnesses, eyewitnesses. فَجْلَدُوهُمْ سَمَانِي نَجَلْدَ Flog them, 80 stripes. وَلَا تَقْبَلُوا لَهُمْ عَدَتًا عَبَدَ And then after that, never accept from them any testimony in any case. وَأُولَائِكَهُمُ الْفَاسِقُونَ And definitely, they are the transgressors. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ تَعَبُوا مِنْ بَعْدِ ذَلِكَ Except those who repent after that, وَأَسْلَحُوا And who have amended and they have rectified their behavior. فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ غَفُرُ الرَّحِيمُ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is forgiving and merciful. وَالَّذِينَ يَرْمُونَ أَزْوَاجَهُمْ وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُمْ شُهَدَاء إِلَّا أَنفُسُهُمْ Now there is a special case. Whosoever accuses his wife and but there is no witness except him. He has seen the wife committing adultery. Now, when he has seen his, with his own eyes, can he live with her now? So, what to do? But, but he doesn't have four witnesses. What should he do? وَالَّذِينَ يَرْمُونَ أَزْوَاجَهُمْ وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُمْ شُهَدَاء And those who accuse their wives, but they don't have four witnesses. فَشَهَادَةُ أَحَدِهِمْ أَرْبَعُ شَهَادَاتٍ بِاللَّهِ So, their testimony will be equal to four testimonies if they swear by Allah. I swear by Allah. I am true. I am telling you the truth. This is the truth. Laman in that I am true. Truthful. Well Khamisato, an additional five, fifth, you know, there should be Annalanat Allah alayhi in Kana min al Kazibin that if I am a liar then the curse of Allah should come to me. Now his one testimony now is equal to four testimonies. This will be accepted. But will the woman, the wife, be given the punishment straight off? No. She will also be given a chance. But you know the punishment would be removed from her if she also swears four times by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that my husband is telling a lie. He is a liar. And for the fifth time she should say, 
ان غضب اللہ علیہ ان کان امین صادقین دیٹ دی ریت آف اللہ شوڈ کم ٹو می اف ہی از ٹروتھ فل ولاؤ لافظ اللہ علیکم و رحمت اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ ہیز گیون دس لا ٹو یو ہاؤ ٹو سیٹل سیٹ افیئرس اینڈ ہی از گیون دیم یو ٹو یو ان ڈیٹیل وان اللہ طواب الحکیم اینڈ ویری لی اللہ از دی ایکسیپٹر آف ریپینٹنگ اینڈ ہی از دی وائس ان لدی نے جاؤ بل اس کتاب دس کمنگ ہسٹوریکل ایونٹ اٹس سو ہیپنڈ آفٹر یو نو دی پروفٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اینڈ دی بلیور ور کمنگ بیک فرام دی بیٹل آف مستلق بن المسترق اینڈ دیئر واز اے کیمپ ایٹ نائٹ سم ویئر حضرت عائشہ دی وائف آف دی پروفٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم رضی اللہ تعالیٰ نے ود واز ود ہم آن دس جرنی آن اے سیپریٹ کیمل So she had some need to urinate, perhaps. So she went away from the camp. But till such time that she come, came back, when she came back, she found that she, there was a necklace and it is lost. It has dropped from her somewhere. She went again. And when she came back now, now the caravan had gone, left. She was left alone over there. She made a very wise decision. I should not move from here. She stayed there, there and then, waiting for what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now decides for her. There was a duty of Safwan ibn Mu'attal radiallahu anhu. He used to walk a little distance behind the caravan, main caravan, to see whether something is dropped, someone has some, left something, or maybe someone is sick and is not able to walk. And he's just lying down. He needs help. When he saw, you know, someone lying there and Hazrat Aisha had gone to sleep and her face was now uncovered. When he came, he recognized, oh, she's Aisha, the wife of Nabi, the wife of the Prophet. The words came out, inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi rajiun. And Hazrat Aisha specifies in this hadith that Safwan recognized me because he had seen me before the commandment of hijab the commandment of hijab covering the faces and covering the body for women it had come in surah al ahzab and surah al ahzab was revealed in the fifth year after hijrah and this incident is happening in the sixth year after hijrah so because he had seen me before the coming down of those those commandments regarding hijab so he recognized me but what he did the, he just made his camel sit so hazrat aisha mounted the camel and then you know he held the rope and went towards the main main caravan main army and met there but abdullah ibn ubay the chief of the munafiqeen he saw safwan ibn muattal is coming with the wife of the prophet aisha radhi allah ta'ala now he started a slander there must have been some wrong thing how is it possible a male and a female alone and they don't commit anything impossible so she had not come safe and with this started a very big campaign of slander against hazrat aisha radhi allah ta'ala about one month passed which was very painful for the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so this is the incident which is mentioned here inna alladhina ja'u bil ifq usbatun minkum verily those who have brought forth this slander they are a group from your among yourselves they are muslims even abdullah ibn ubay was also a legal muslim but in this thing you know so many mu'minin sadiqin true muslims were also involved there It's a weakness of human nature. You just accept something bad as if you are already, you are ready to accept whatever is coming from some other man's mouth. لا تحسبوه شرن لكم Don't think شرن لكم that it is evil for you. بل هو خير لكم This is good for you. Because this will become the reason why these commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are being revealed to you for the future guidance. لِكُلِّ مِنْهُمْ مَكْتَسَبَهُ مِنَ الْإِسْمُ 
for each one of them there will be the reward or punishment for what whatever he earned walladhi tawalla kibrahu and the one among them who took the bulk of it greatest share that was abdullah ibn ubay who was the initiator lahu adabun azim for him is a very mighty chastisement laula is same to muhu why did it not happen that when you listen to it zannal mu'minun wal mu'minat bi anfusihim khaira the believing men and believing women should have thought well about themselves who was aisha 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 was the wife of the prophet they should have said they should have said wa qalu hadha ifkum mubin it is definitely a slander laula jaw alayhi bi arbaat shuhada why didn't they bring four witnesses on this faizlam yatu bi shuhada so when they couldn't bring witnesses faulaik indallahi humul kazibun so allah holds them to be the liars walaula fadlullahi alaykum wa rahmatuhu and if there was not the bounty of allah on you and his mercy fi dunya wal akhirah in this world also and in the hereafter also lamassakum fi ma afastum fi hazabun azim then whatever you have indulged in it would have given you a very mighty chastisement istalaqawnahu bi alsanatikum when you were propagating it on by your tongues wa taquluna bi afwahikum ma laysa lakum bihi ilm and you were saying with your mouths for what you have no you had no knowledge it was mere hearsay you listen and then you tell anybody else also without making sure that this is correct there was that is why the prophet had said kafa bil mari kaziman an yuhaddisa bi kulli ma sami'a it is sufficient for a man to be declared a liar if he says whatever he listens whatever he listens he should first assess whether it is correct or wrong if it is correct then he can do it he can spread it further but if it is wrong and he is spreading he has become an agent in the spreading of the falsehood istalaqawnahu bi alsanatikum wa taquluna bi afwahikum ma laysa lakum bihi ilm wa tahsabunahu hayyanan and you are thinking it's a trifle matter wa huwa inna allaha azim in the sight of allah it is a mighty thing wa laula sami'tumuhu qultum why didn't it happen that when you listen to it you should have said ma yakunu lana an natakallama bi hadha it doesn't behove us that we should speak about this thing subhanaka hadha bahtanu nasim glorified be allah this is definitely a mighty lie ya'izukum allah wa ta'udu li mislihi abada allah exhorts you not to repeat it again forever in kuntum mu'minin if you are believers wa yubayyinu allah lakum al-ayat and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making for you his revelations clear wallahu alimun hakim and he is the knower the wise inna alladhina yuhibbuna an tashiya al-fahishatu fi alladhina amanu verily those people who wish and love that in decency or its false news should spread among the muslims among the believers lahum aqabun alim fi dunya wal akhirah for them there will be painful chastisement in this world as well as in the hereafter wallahu ya'lamu wa antum la ta'lamun verily allah knows and you don't know you don't know wallahu la fadlullah alaykum wa rahmatuhu wa anna allah raufur rahim and was it not that the bounty and mercy of allah is upon you and that allah is gracious and merciful you would have been lost ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu la tattabi'u khutuwat ash-shaitan o you who believe don't follow the footsteps of satan wa man yattabi'u khutuwat ash-shaitan fa innahu ya'muru bil fahsha whosoever follows the footsteps of satan well he is surely he will instigate everybody to indecent things wal munkar and abominations wa laula fadlullah alaykum wa rahmatuhu 
and if there was the bounty of Allah and His mercy over you, ma zakam in kum in ahadin abada, none of you would have been able to purify his souls. Walakin Allah yuzaki man yasha, but Allah purifies the souls of those whom He wish. Allah is Samiyun Alim, and Allah is the Hearer, the Knower. Walai atale ulul afaz le bin kum wasaate. help him. monetarily but when he came to know that he is also included on, among those people who are slandering so he swore by allah now i am not going to help you now allah is saying to him don't do this wala ya atalil ulul fazl minkum wasaa those who possess bounty and abundance among you let them not swear and you to ul al qurba that they will do good to their relatives or the needy or the muhajirin those who have migrated in the way of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mr was also a muhajir wal yafu wal yasfahu they should forgive and they should overlook ala tuhibbuna an yaghfir allah lakum don't you like that allah should forgive you on this abu bakr cried out nuhibbu an taghfir lana rabbana and he said okay i will give the kafara of this swear that i had made and i will continue my help to bista ala tuhibuna an yaghfir allah lakum wallahu ghafurur rahim and allah is merciful and forgiving ان الذين يرمون المحسنات الغافلات المؤمنات verily those who accuse chaste women who have never even thought of any wicked thing from among the believing women loini fi dunya wal akhirah they are cursed in this world also and in the hereafter walahum azabun azim for them is a very big chastisement يَوْمَ تَشْهَدُ عَلَيْهِمْ أَلْسِنَتُهُمْ وَأَيْدِيهِمْ وَأَرْجُلُهُمْ بِمَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ On the day when their tongues and their hands and their feet will testify against them as to what they were used to do. يَوْمَ إِذِنْ يُوَفِّيهِمُ اللَّهُ دِينَهُمُ الْحَقُّ On that day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give them their reward, that is the punishment in full. وَيَعْلَمُونَ أَنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْحَقُّ الْمُبِينَ and they will come to know that verily allah is the truth total truth and it is absolutely manifest truth again that you know ayah which i said is divine providence allah makes these arrangements al khabisatu lil khabisin the wicked women are for the wicked men wal khabisuna lil khabisat and wicked men are for the wicked women and good women. They are for good people, good men. And good men are for the good women. They are absolutely innocent and not guilty of what they are saying. For them is the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and a very generous provision. Now there are some social teachings regarding especially the privacy of a family. So there are certain rules if you go to visit each other. Oh you who believe, don't enter the houses which are not yours. Hatta tastanisu. Until you ask the permission and you greet them with salam. 
ذالکم خیر الکم لال لکم تذکروم دس از بیٹر فار یو اف یو کین گیٹ دی ایڈمانیشن فائل تجدو فیحا احدم اینڈ اف یو ڈونٹ فائنڈ ان اٹ اینی بڈی فلاح تد خلو ہا ڈونٹ اینٹر اٹ دین یو نو دیر سم بلیم کڈ کم دیٹ دیر واس دس اینڈ دس ان دس ہاؤس اینڈ دس ہیز بین اسٹولن ڈونٹ اینٹر حتا یوز ان یوز ان الکم بٹ اف دی پرمیشن از گیون بائی دی پرسن اوننگ دیٹ ہاؤس اوکے یو کین اینٹر دیٹ ہاؤس سو دے کین یو کین اینٹر وہ ان قیلا لکم رجا فر جا And if it is said to you, go back, then go back. Now, this is very important. It's a different thing that you come after taking an appointment. In that case, you must be received and entertained. But if you go and suddenly call on somebody without having any appointment, prior appointment, then it's not your right that he must receive you and he must entertain you. Maybe he's busy in something and that business for him is more important than entertaining you so so clear instructions when they are like murjao for you if they is said to them return return go back who ask alakum that is more pure pure for you wallahu bima ta'maluna alim and whatever you are doing allah knows it lais alaikum junahun an tadkhulu buyutan ghaira maskunatin there is no harm upon you no blame upon you if you enter the house uninhabited غیرہ مسکونت ان فیح متاؤن لکم دیر از سم لگیج وچ بلانگس ٹو یو پراپرٹی ان اٹ دیر آر اسٹورس دیٹ نو بڈی ان ہیبٹس اوور دیئر ویل یو کین اینٹر واللہ یعلم ما تم دونا و ما تم تمون اینڈ اللہ ویری ویل نوز وٹ یو ریویل اینڈ وٹ یو کنسیل کل المومنین یغدو من ابصارہم آسک دی بلیورس او محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم that they should lower their gaze now there are two sets of instructions regarding this hijab and parda and veil and satr what part of the body has to be covered etc etc the first set was revealed in surah ahzab one year earlier and there allah subhanahu wa taala had given the instructions that if a woman a believer believing woman has to go out what she should do now this is another step forward even in your homes what are the etiquettes that have to be observed don't gaze on each other even the brothers and sisters shouldn't gaze your sister is also a woman a girl so don't gaze her you keep your sight low qul lil mu'minina yaghullu min afsarihim They should lower, lower their gaze by yafazu furu jau, and they should guard their sexual organs. Zalek askalahu. This is surely more pure for them. In the Allah khabiru me maiz naun. Verily, Allah knows what you are doing. Wa kulil mo minate. Now the detailed instruction is coming for the women, and say to the believing women also, yafzun dami nafsari hinna. They should also keep their gaze low. Why are falling off for you? They should also guard their private parts. Why are you being a zina to you? And they should not reveal or display their adornment. Illa ma zahara minha, except what is apparent thereof. Why are you doing not be khumur e hinna ala joyu be hinna, and let them draw their scars over their bosoms. وَلَا يُبْدِينَ زِينَتَهُنَّا And they should not expose their adornment and beauty. And now there's the list. Who are, you know, exempted from this? Number one, إِلَّا لِبْعُولَتَهِنَّا Except for, number one, their husbands. أَوْ آبَائِهِنَّا Number two, their fathers. Father, grandfather and so on. وَأَوْ آبَائِ بْعُولَتَهِنَّا or the fathers of their husbands father in law and then the grandfather in law aw abnaihinna or their sons aw abnai baulatihinna or the sons of their husbands maybe there are sons from some former wife they are also exempt aw ikhwanihinna or their own brothers 
او بنی اخوان ہنا دی سنز آف دیئر بردرس او بنی اخوات ہنا اور دی سنز آف دیئر سسٹرس او نسا ہنا اور دیئر اون ویمن مسلم ویمن ناٹ اسٹرینجرس او ما ملکت ایمان ہنا اور دی فیمیل سلیئرس ہوم دیئر رائٹ ہینڈس پوزیس ابھی تابعین غیر ال الربا اور دی اٹینڈنٹس اینڈ سروینٹس ہو ڈونٹ ہیو اینی سیکشول ڈیزائر من الرجال رب مکتی مین ابھی طفل لذی لم یضر علا اور آتی نسا اور دی چائلڈ ہو از ناٹ اپ ٹل ناؤ ایکوینٹیڈ ود دی سیکرٹ میٹرس آف ویمن ولا یضرب نہ بھی ارجل ہنہ دے شوڈنٹ اسٹرائک دیئر فیٹ آف دی ارتھ لے یو لما ما یخفین امین زینت ہنہ سو دیٹ دیئر آرنامنٹس دیٹ دے آر ویئرنگ دے گیو وائس اینڈ یو نو اٹینشن آف دی پیپل گوز ٹوڈس دس بٹ تو بو ال اللہ جمیا اینڈ یو شوڈ ڈپینڈ ٹوڈس اللہ آل آف یو آئی یو ہل مو منون او یو دی بلیورس لال لکم تو فلحون سو دیٹ دے شوڈ یو شوڈ پراسپر And you should be successful. Wa anke hun ayama min kum, and wed the spouse spouseless among you. If there is a woman, she has become she has become widow. Try to get her married again as soon as possible. In the same way, widower, a person without any wife, a, a young man, he is young, full, and you know he has the sexual desire. So you should make him marry. As soon as possible. وَأَنْ كَهُ الْأَيَامَ مِنْكُمْ وَالصَّالِحِينَ مِنْ إِبَادِكُمْ وَإِمَائِكُمْ And also, the righteous ones from among their slaves, males or females. إِنْ يَكُونُ فُقَرَا If they are poor, يُغْنِهِمُ اللَّهُ مِنْ فَضْلِهِ Allah will make them rich from His bounty. وَاللَّهُ وَاسِعُنْ عَلِيمٌ And Allah is ample giving and knower. وَالْيَسْتَعْفِفِ الَّذِينَ لَا جَجِزُونَ نِكَاعٍ As for those women, who are past the age of marriage or past the age of bearing children. So these rules are somewhat, you know, loosened for them. Well, yes, tafil ladina la jadidina nikahan. And let those, no, this is another subject. And let those who find not the means to marry keep chest. If there's someone, he's poor, he can't support wife, that he should wait. حتیٰ یغنی ہم اللہ من فضلی دل سچ ٹائم دٹ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ میکس ہم ایبل ٹو سپورٹ اے فیملی و لدین جب تغور الکتاب مما ملکت احبانکم اینڈ فرام امنگ یور سلیوس ہو وانٹ ٹو گیٹ رائٹ ڈاؤن فار ایمنسیپیشن دیٹ آئی ول پے یو ٹین تھاؤزنڈ دین آرس یو سیٹ می فری ناؤ دیر از این ایگریمنٹ ناؤ ہیز ورکنگ ہارڈ از ڈوئنگ لیبر گیدرنگ منی That it is also advised to the Muslim, Muslims, you should also contribute so that it becomes easy for him to get the freedom. So if he wants that he should, this is called, that an agreement of emancipation should be concluded. If you have seen in them good, that they are gentlemen, then you must enter into such agreement with them. وَآتُوهُمْ مِمَا لِلَّهِ الَّذِي آتَاكُمْ And also give them from the wealth that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. وَلَا تُقْرِهُ فَتَيَاتَكُمْ عَلَى الْبِغَاءِ And don't compel your slave girls to prostitution. إِنْ أَرَدْنَا تَحَسُّنًا If they want to lead a chest life, لِتَبْتَهُ عَرْضَ الْحَيَاتِ الدُّنْيَا You want to get some worldly rewards for that? Some worldly wealth? وَمَنْ يُكْرِهُنَّ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ مِنْ بَعْدِ اِكْرَاهِنَّ غُفُرُ الرَّحِيمِ Whosoever compels them, then surely Allah is after their compulsion, forgiving and merciful. Allah will not hold that girl, slave girl, as a culprit because she has been forced to do it by her master. وَلَقَدْ أَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ آيَاتِ مُبَيِّنَاتِ And we have sent down to you Ilaikum ayatim bayyanat, very clear, illuminating revelations. Wa masalam min al-lazina khala min qablikum. And we have given you the descriptions of those people who were before you. Wa ma'awizatan lil-muttaqeen. 
اینڈ دی ایگزارٹیشن فار دوز ہو آر گاڈ فیئرنگ اللہ نور السماوات واللرض ناؤ دی موسٹ امپارٹنٹ آیا آف دس سورہ رادر ون آف دی موسٹ امپارٹنٹ آیات آف دی ہول آف قرآن اسملی فار اللہ سبحان و تعالی اللہ نور السماوات واللرض اللہ از دی لائٹ آف دی ہیونز اینڈ دی ارت What does it mean? Just as we need light to see each other, to see this world, we can't see. You might have, the sight is here, it's okay. But you can't see without light. In this same way, the hidden realities of this universe, which we call metaphysical realities of this world, they cannot be understood except you know Allah first. You believe him, him first, then only you will be able to know all the hidden and better physical realities of this universe and existence. Allahu nur samawati wa lard. Masalu nurahi. The similitude of his light is this. Kamishkatin fiha misbah. There is a niche in the wall and there is a lamp in the niche. Al misbahu fi zujajah. And the lamp is in a glass. As zujaja to kaan naha kao kabun durriyun. And that glass appears as if it was a shining star. Yu katu min shajaratin. And this lamp, you know, is burnt, lighted from the oil of a shajaratin mubarakatin, a very blessed tree. And that is the tree of zaitun, olive. La sharqiyatin wa la garbiyah. which belongs to neither the eastern part nor the western part. Now this, you know, olive tree, which is standing alone, full day, the heat of sun and rays of sun are playing on it. If some tree is towards the east of some big wood collection of trees, then in the morning it will get the rays of the sun, but not in the evening. It will be under the shadow. If it is towards the west, Then in the morning it will not be able to get the sunshine and the solar energy it will not be able to absorb. But it will be only available in the evening. But a solitary tree standing alone, it has all the day absorbed the solar energy in it. لا شرقیت ولا غربیہ یکاد زیتوہ یغی Now the oil of such a tree is so clear, so clear. یکاد زیتوہ یغی that it is ready to, to glow, Lawlam Tamsasvanar, although fire had not touched it. Now we can understand this, the difference. We had kerosene oil or mustard oil. In lamps we used to use them, but they don't catch fire with themselves. You have to have some cotton root weed, put it here, then through that cotton weed it will burn and then you will get the light. But what about petrol? It is as if it catches fire. Although you have not brought the fire to it, it itself advances forward and catches fire. So this is the simile which is being used here. There are certain people, the oil of their nature is so nascent, so pure, that they are as if awaiting for the call of the Prophet of Allah to respond to it immediately. We read the ayah in Surah Al Imran. Rabbana inna na sami na munadi an yunadi lil iman. An aminu bi rabbikum fa amanna. And we have the example of Abu Bakr Siddiq, the Prophet said, "Sallallahu alaihi wasallam, to anyone, to all, to whom I presented my dawa, they took some time to understand, except Abu Bakr. He didn't wait even for a second. Why? You know the oil of his nature, which was burning already in his heart." Now you know, this our chest, the ribs, they are just like the niche in the wall. Then there's the heart. It's like a lamp placed in that niche. And you know, it is shining. But this shining, this noor is not like this noor. This is the internal light of the faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Noorun ala noor. When the fire touches it, now it is noor over noor, light over light. One was the light, 
آف دی پیور نیچر ود ان دی مین ادر از دی لائٹ آف دی ریولیشن وین دو جوائن ٹوگیدر ویل دس از ایمان ہنڈریڈ پرسینٹ ایمان دی اسٹرانگیسٹ ایمان نور ان اللہ نور یاد اللہ نور ہی میں یشا اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ گائڈس ٹو ہز لائٹ ہم سو ایور ہی وشز وہ حضرم اللہ المسال علیہ ناس اینڈ اللہ اسٹرائکس دیز سملیچیوڈ فار دی پیپل و اللہ بالکل شاہین علیم دس از دا نیسیسٹی فار دی ہیومن بینگس دے کانٹ گریسپ دیز سیٹل ریئلٹیز سو دے نیڈ سم سملیچیوڈس سو اللہ تعالیٰ اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ ہی اسٹرائکس دی سملیچیوڈس فار دی پیپل ویئر ایز ہی نوز ایوری تھنگ ایز اٹ از جسٹ ایز دیر واز اے پریئر آف دی پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اللہ ارینی حقیقت نشیا کما ہیا او اللہ شو می دی ریئلٹی آف تھنگس ایز دے آر ریئلی ناٹ ایز دے اپیئر دی اپیئرنٹ از ویزیبل ٹو دی اینیملز آلسو دی ڈاگ ہیز آلسو سین دیٹ دی کار از کمنگ اینڈ اٹ از سیونگ اٹ سیلف اف یو ہیو آلسو سین سو واٹ دا ڈفرینس بٹ دیٹ انر لائٹ سیئنگ بائی دی ہارٹ ہیئرنگ بائی دی ہارٹ پونڈرنگ اوور تھرو ہارٹ تھرو یور روح دیٹ از سم تھنگ ایلس فی بو یو تھ ان آف دس لائٹ ان دی پرسنس ویئر ول یو فائنڈ اٹ ویئر ٹو فائنڈ اٹ دی موسٹ امپورٹنٹ پلیس آر دی ہاؤسز آف اللہ بیکاز دے لو دی ہاؤسز آف اللہ دے وانٹ ٹو اسپینڈ میکسیمم ٹائم ان دی ہاؤسز آف اللہ فی بیوت ان از اللہ ان طرف و یوز کرا فی اس وہ ان دوز ہاؤسز اباؤٹ ہوم اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ از کمانڈیڈ دیٹ شوڈ بی ریسڈ اینڈ ہز نیم شوڈ بی ریمبرڈ اوور دیئر بل غدم والا سال ان دی مارننگس اینڈ ان دی ایوننگس رجال ان لات الہی ہم تجارت ان والا بیعن دے آر دوز دوز مین whom neither the trade nor any particular bargain stops from the remembrance of Allah and establishing the prayer. Now first, for example, let us suppose a shopkeeper was sitting from the morning. No customer came. And when a customer enters the shop, there is the call for azan also. Now he is being tested. If he attends to the customer, That means he has attached more importance to this worldly gain. Rijalun la tulhi him tijaratun wala bayun. Those men who cannot be prevented by any trading or any particular bargain from the remembrance of Allah and glorifying Him and, and establishing salah and giving the obligatory zakah. Ya khafu na yawman. Even after doing all this, they keep fearing, they keep trembling. About that day, تَتَقَلَّبُ فِيهِ الْقُلُوبُ وَالْأَفْسَارِ In which the sights and the hearts will be overturned. إِنَّ زَلْدَلَةَ سَاتِ شَيْءٌ عَظِيمٌ We have already read. So they tremble at the thought of that day. أَمَّا مَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ وَنَهَنْ نَفْسَ عَنِ الْحَوَى فَإِنَّ الْجَنَّةَ هِيَ الْمَعْوَى so that Allah should devour them, recompense them with the best of what they did. And He should add to the reward from His bounty. The reward is to be calculated according to their deeds. But from His bounty He can give anything, as much as He likes. There is no need of reckoning or any arithmetic or mathematics. واللہ یرز و قمن یشا و بغیر حساب اینڈ اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ گیوس اینڈ پرووائڈس ہو سو ایور ہی ول ود آؤٹ اینی ریکننگ میں اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ انکلوڈ اس امنگ دوس بارک اللہ علی ولکم فی القرآن العظیم و نفانی و یاکم بالآیات و ذکر الحکیم